Nano Dimensions. It's a new type of 3D printing for electronics. Let's talk about that solution next. So Nano Dimensions. Uh, actually, the, this discussion might be a little hard to separate from the application of 3D printing uh, to electronics because Nano Dimensions is really one of the first companies uh, offering a product in this space. The idea, fundamentally, is that you can print uh, conductive material, metals, uh, alongside non-conductive materials, um, like plastics, um, but you know, with properties that kind of mirror the substrates that you see in printed circuit boards. Um, so by laying down layers by layers, you can build up essentially a 3D printed circuit board uh, over time. Um, and that's interesting, you know, there's, there's some advantages in uh, having the capability in-house of building out a prototype very, very quickly. And it supports the concepts of uh, Scrum and Agile and minimal viable products um, to validate in design that you're going the right direction. The other and bigger advantage here, though, is that it can enable you to fundamentally change how you design electronics, circuit boards. Uh, so, you know, traditionally you've had a circuit board and that goes into an enclosure uh, that will provide protection um, from a lot of different things, maybe structural stuff. Uh, it can aid in the um, getting uh, thermal and high heat uh, air swept away or basically looking cooling issues. But if you start thinking about 3D printing, um, there's some real potential here, especially in the context of, well, maybe the board and the enclosure become one part. And maybe you have the electronics start to take a 3D shape, right? So we already know that circuit boards are being kind of jammed into all sorts of difficult spaces today. With this, uh, you can design to those spaces and have the electronics uh, go in, in in those same unusual spaces. So in addition, you know, you can address the thermal issues that you typically see with circuit boards uh, in new and unusual ways. So, um, so there's a ton of potential here, a ton of potential here for circuit boards and 3D printing. The outstanding challenge is how do you design for it? <laughs> Today, uh, with many EDA or ECAD solutions, uh, you're designing uh, in planes, right? So you you have layers. It assumes you're going to manufacture it at a certain, you know, in the traditional way, not through 3D printing. So the challenge becomes, you know, will the software providers of those ECAD solutions, you know, like Mentor, Cadence, Zukin, those folks, when are they going to support a more a tool set that can automate the process um, because frankly you know circuit boards almost everybody uses auto routing today for traces uh, and they do lots of design rule checking just to make sure it conforms uh, to the specifications uh, so um, circuit boards are getting so complex it's really hard to design them manually so to really enable 3d printing for circuit boards you kind of need some capabilities to automate the process um, for engineers. So Nano Dimensions is, is one of the few, uh, maybe only, um, companies that are exploring this. There, you know, some other are looking at it right now, uh, but truly to get to, um, to enable this capability, you gotta have the software. Last point. Um, a lot of companies will look at this and say, hey, it's not ready, right? The software's not ready. Um, the technology is pretty early on. I tell you what, though, for the right company that uh, is willing to experiment with this uh, and explore it and maybe use some duct tape to make it work, you know, there is a huge opportunity to differentiate your products. You can be truly innovative with this approach um, and that can make a huge difference in the market. So 
that would be my one takeaway. If you're one of those companies that is really good at adopting technologies and experimenting with it and making it work for you, then this really might be a good fit. So that's it. Take care and talk soon. Thank you.